Just how we drew it up, we wanted to uh, free up Ron as best we could, and um, you know, he had to make a read whether to go low or high, and uh, caught the ball, and um, you know, he seems to, uh, you know, he seems to shoot that shot a lot, of, a lot in practice as well as many others. But uh, yeah, going to his left and you know rising without a pump fake was uh, uh, he was in a good rhythm and he hit an amazing shot. It was unbelievable. Great to be a part of that. But tonight is one we're going to you know, definitely enjoy because of the manner we wanted in and we took uh, control of the series, it being 3-2 now, but we know we're going to have a, uh, a tough one on the road in Indiana on Friday. But um, you know, we'll look at film, see where we can get better, and then go from there. I understand completely different scenarios, but from his block to then the shot. Well, everybody's going to forget about the block, right? But uh, you know, the play before, call a timeout. Um, you know, what potentially could have been a, a or was a game saving play and that you know set up a uh, another spectacular play so uh, he does it on both ends every single night and you know, that's why he's the best player in the world i think just uh i mean we, we talked about it at halftime just coming out and um just making a uh, you know a great effort kind of changing the script a little bit than we had in the, in the past of, of coming out and not having a uh, or having a pretty stagnant third quarter so we felt like we did a better job Especially with Braun, he was uh, you know, unbelievable from the free throw line tonight. Uh, not only getting there, but converting. Um, shot looked super pure, and um, I think throughout too, just being aggressive. That's uh, you know one thing that we did. Especially when the, the whistle wasn't necessarily going our way in that first half, we uh, you know continued to fight and, and, and push and try to get into the paint. You know how many people have been using it? It's been extremely effective, and for him to put that in his game at year 15 and feel confident in making that in the playoffs and stuff like that. That says a lot. Jack, can you talk about the way you played defense all night, especially in the old there? I uh, struggled in the first half, got off his body a few times, um, came back in the halftime, see Lou challenge me to do a better job, and uh, just try to be more physical, stay on his body more as much as, as possible. And um, whenever he's not in the scoring area, just try to deny him the ball and uh, make it tough. What's that do for the rest of the defense when you have a guy like Oladipo who you're obviously targeting and trying to take out of this series and you're able to do it? No, um, I mean, it's beneficial for sure. Uh, we just got to keep everybody else at, a, at bay. Um, obviously, Bogdanovich had a huge game uh, in their building, so try and limit his shots. Uh, just try to limit everybody else as much as possible. Uh, obviously, we can't stop everything, but uh, try to make the non-scorer score. JR, obviously, you've seen so much with LeBron, but still, is there ever a point where you're just like, man, I can't believe that the block and then hit that after? Yeah, man. I mean, everybody was talking about the shot, but then he, had to, he actually took two blocks on Oladipo. One could have been an end one that he blocked. Uh, I think they called a foul on, on Kyle, but that when we switched off on him, I was trying not to leave my man, and he gave him enough room to make him think he had the layup, and he just blocked him. And then come down and hit the shot. I mean, he, every time he steps on the, on the floor, you, you got to expect something amazing to happen. Is it flattering you defensively that there's a play like that at the end of the game where they're trying to score and they have to score, and they switch, make you switch off to, to get you off the ball? Um, yeah, but one thing about it, I got a, I got a lot of help coming from behind me. LeBron is back there talking, talking it out, switching it out. They originally tried to get Kev in that situation, and uh, I mean, LeBron just helped out with the switch. So it just, it's, uh, it means a lot for my teammates to be, have my back. You guys came out on fire in the third quarter, but you forced seven turnovers. Did you feel like defense sort of ignited it? Yeah, for sure. Our defense uh, really picked up the second half. Um, we were going to score. Kyle was hitting shots. LeBron was scoring, obviously. Kev was getting what he was getting. Um, and JC really came over on the road, so defensively, we knew we had to step up defensively. That's what, the only way we had a chance. What did you guys do differently then, PR? Because the third quarter had been a problem, uh, especially in the last three games. So, huh? Last <laughs> 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 few games. Third quarter is kind of an Achilles heel. Uh, this was good to come out uh, motivated and, and, and played hard in the third quarter. That guys responded well. Um, and then, you know, at the end, I mean, it's what, a, what a special finish. Um, it was amazing. I set a screen for him and then he got out of his way. After winning. <laughs> I don't even remember what, what any of us did. I think we were all yelling and shouting and, um, you know, 
know, I think when everything died down, I just gave him a hug and told him which I, which I, which I been respect him. I mean, I think everyone's different. You have to ask, ask them all the way. But I think, you know, most importantly, when LeBron's playing like that and he's playing that aggressive, it just gives the rest of his confidence. He's the best player in the world. He's on our team. He's going to give us a chance every single night. We have to do all. We all have to do our part. But he is. He is that good. And uh, you know. So I think just uh, it's easy sometimes to put too much pressure on yourself. Uh, you know, when it's your first time in the playoffs, and in the moment feels big. But you know, I think he really shoulders a lot of that uh, for, for for the team. And, um, you know, we just got there and played game. I don't know if it was just we were down, so we came out with a greater sense of urgency, or um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what it was, but we, we came out and got stops. Uh, we got we were, we were aggressive on the break. Um, LeBron came out really aggressive. And just kind of set, set the, the tone for us. And, um, crowd got behind us. And I think we got it wrong. Well, our scheme, uh, we made a couple little minor changes, but really it was just um, playing harder, honestly. Um, we were obviously, uh, Old Depot's, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're doing everything we can to kind of slow him down. Um, They've been making some adjustments, uh, you know, how, how they're attacking us, and, and we have to kind of adjust to what they're doing. And so I think in the second half, we did that.